Hello weirdos, long time no see. I've been extremely sick with tonsillitis, having terrible nightmares, and my boyfriend Terry can't seem to adapt to the fact that I'm home from Singapore. So being home has been a feverish nightmare, literally. Remember that time we did that fun thing? I don't remember that anymore. You smell like a horse's ass. I forgot about you. Who the hell is this? It's you. <laughs> What the fuck? T -t two. Why? Why is there two of you? Terry, calm down. I want answers. Which one of you is the real Cassie? I want proof. We're two adult females with rights. You can't just shoot one of us. Cassie would never say something like that. Ah! During my final hours of wellness in Singapore, my cousin took me to the zoo where we saw a polar bear swimming in circles, the interactive chicken exhibit, and my favorite, Rafiki from The Lion King, who taught us that we aren't so different from our primate relatives. It looks like he's masturbating. Yeah. I believe that the zoo is the reason why I got sick because when I first showed up, my cousin was like, ha ha, you stupid Canadians and your sun hats, you can't take the Singapore sun. And I was like, yes, I can. So I didn't complain once and ended up getting severe heat exhaustion, terrible headache, couldn't get up for the rest of my life. And the night before, actually, I was singing karaoke and this is where the germs were transferred because after we sang and all shared a microphone, my cousin let me in on some important news. How was karaoke? Uh, it was good. Uh, just, uh, I, I'm having a sore throat right now. Why? Hi. Hi, this is my cousin Nadia. She's so cute. Oh, thanks. Am I cute? Am I cute? Am I cute? Not as cute as Nadia, oh. but very cute. Alright, all right. thank you. So that was the end of my Singapore enjoyment and vlogs. I was bedridden and I turned green. Thankfully for cousin visits, I ended up looking okay because I got this expensive foundation that a bunch of beauty gurus promised would make my skin matte in the Singapore humidity. And it did do that, but I felt like a sucker paying for it because it was expensive and I only needed it for two weeks. And I feel like even more of a sucker now because Terry didn't have the balls to break up with me before his new conquest. And I just think it's good manners so that I can be focusing on myself rather than sitting here thinking about your new endeavors. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. We need to talk. I feel like I don't even really know who you are anymore. Cassie! I only want you. Take me back. No. Oh. I thought this was gonna be more of a rom-com ending, but looks like she needs more of a tearjerker. She meant nothing to me. She was just a poor excuse for something I had all along. You. You're what matters. That's why I wrote you every day for a year. I left for two weeks, and you cheated on me with a camera. I made that camera look exactly like you. Because I knew it couldn't leave me. Okay, come here, you stupid son of a bitch. Don't! Mm. Why are you wet? Mm. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I wanted to say thank you so much for 300,000 subscribers. I can't believe that 300,000 people have clicked that little button. It's amazing, and I know that I've made some stinkers in the past. I hope to make videos that make you guys smile in the future. I'm here to make you guys proud, and I love you very much. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks, Farhan. Farhan got me this. He's so nice. We're about to take the MRT and go jam.